Hey, what's up? After the last two videos where I used ChatGPT to program an Arduino and an ESP32, go check them out if you haven't, I wanted to try the next logical step and ask ChatGPT to program a STM32. First, I'll be asking the AI to write the code in bare metal, that is, using the registers the STM32 needs to function, without using the high-level functions. And then I'll also be asking the AI to write code using the easier to use STM framework. I wanted to brush up on my bare metal C programming and did it first by myself. I know this code is quite daunting, but I'm just putting some values in these registers. Let me click on run and wait for it to upload. Here you can see it blinking every second or so. My bare metal programming skills are still up to the task. Now it's turn for ChatGPT. I write a program for STM32F4 in bare metal C that blinks a LED in pin PB14. Okay, so first of all, it's using the STM32F4XX library, which includes the registers for all of the GPIO. Let me just ask, uh, this time without using the STM4 library. Now it's correctly casting the H1 Ian Beer bus. Uh, I remember it's that hex value and I don't remember a C in this hex value. I also don't remember a 18 in the hex value from before, so it's probably just calling another port. Let me create a new project. Call it OpenAI Blink. Empty. And uh, run it. It's compiling nicely. So, no luck. Uh, let me check the reference manual and uh, here it is. It was calling a pin in GPIO D. When I clearly told it, it was a pin um, port B, PB14. Anyway, on to the next question. Now I want the AI to blink the pin PB14 using the STM framework. Uh, so write a program for STM32 that blinks a LED in PB14. Now it's using the STM32 F4 library, but it seems to still be using very low level functions. It's not using the hardware abstraction layer framework which would make the code much more readable. Anyway, let me copy and uh, create the project. I'll delete everything and hope that nothing breaks down. Hit run and... It's working. So that's a point for the AI. But as I said, I want the AI to use the hardware abstraction layer functions. Let me rephrase it. Write a program for STM32 using the HAL that blinks a LED in PIM PB14. Okay, so now it's using the HAL libraries, it's initializing the HAL, but it's still using the registers. Uh, it seems that the AI doesn't want to use the HAL GPIO toggle function. So anyways, it's done.
let me create another project. Click run. And another error. I have no idea how to solve that error, so let's just cut our losses and try something else. Next challenge. Now I'll be using a potentiometer that will dim a LED. Write a program for STM32 that reads from a potentiometer and dims a LED in pin PV14 according to the value of the potentiometer. Again, it's using the STM32F4 library, it's enabling the buses, and uh, it's not using the functions of the STM framework, so I can barely understand these registers. Anyway, let's copy and paste and hope that it works. Let me create the project. Paste. Run it. And we have some errors here. Again, no idea how to solve them. Now onto the last challenge. Every Arduino has this OLED I2C screen. Let's see if the AI can display Hello World. I know this is just going to fail horribly because I have never found this library adapted to the STM32, but anyways. Write a program for STM32F4 that displays Hello World in a SSD1306 OLED I2C screen. So it's giving me some instructions on how to do it myself, but uh, I don't want to write the code. Now here's co some code, it included this SSD1306 library which is from Arduino and clearly won't work with an STM32, at least the AI tried. Well, it seems that ChatGPT can barely produce useful code for the STM32, and most of the code it produces uses these low-level functions, registers, and bitwise operations which make the code so hard to read, like uh, I just spent one, an hour trying to fix the potentiometer program, and since I have always used the hardware abstraction layer, trying to understand these register, bit shifts, it's just too hard. Anyway, I feel quite underwhelmed by the way this AA is performing for embedded programming. I mean, I see some people that ask the AI to code in Python or PHP and it produces some incredible results and I feel quite jealous. Then again, there is so much more information on these languages compared for, to, for example, the HAL of the STM32, which at least for me was a bit hard to learn since there wasn't so much information on the internet. But I think that this is the best thing that could happen for electronics and hardware engineers. These microcontrollers are so niche and the datasheets are so daunting and unintuitive that we will probably be substituted much later. And that concludes this video. Please like the video and comment if you would like me to try something else. Stay tuned for the next video.